Uh, New York pressuring Tesla to open up the supercharger network. So this is an interesting development, something I had been thinking about. Uh, just the proprietary nature of the Tesla supercharging network. Like, are they, are regulators going to really let them own all these proprietary charging stations? Well, they're going to let them own, own them, but they, but they still have to pull energy from the grid. Mm. And energy in the grid in many ways is connected to the entire citizenry everybody in some way or another is interacting with that grid like say in their house or wherever it is that you buy and sell buy electricity and so in most places there there's different rates for electricity depending on how much you're using peak hours there's like all kinds of rules around it to try to manage Energy as a resource, which belongs essentially to everyone in, to, in some way or another, the grid. And so these superchargers suck a ton of juice, Willie do. I promise you, they, they stick a straw right into the grid for real. Apparently, what is it I read here? Yeah, super superchargers have a high peak throughput. 250 kilowatt V3 charger with eight bays can draw can draw up to two MW of power. What is that? Milliwatt? I don't know what that is. Megawatt? Megawatt. Megawatt! I never thought there'd be a time where I would get to say megawatt <laughs> on the channel, but I'm so happy about it. There you even go. even if that's not what anyway. Here's the important part. It's a hundred times more than the peak power draw of a home. <laughs> mm. It's a hundred homes. You put in one Tesla supercharger and its peak throughput is a hundred homes. It's like a community. Like you just built a community mm. from a from a demand perspective. So Tesla argued it should not be excluded from uh there's this thing called uh, what is it called? It's called the non per oh no no, no 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 not that. It's called non <laughs> Where is it? Basically, the way it breaks down, because of the peaky power usage, demand charges are additional significant charges access to businesses that have exceptionally peaky power usage. So companies that demand power to this degree, away from the greater good of the community for their own purposes or for their own benefit or for their own profits, those companies pay an extra amount for that on-demand peaky power consumption, which kind of happens to you in your own home to a certain degree if you choose to do laundry during peak hours. Right. It's a different, you pay a different rate than if yep. it's off peak because of how these grids operate. Mm -hmm. Well, anyhow, uh, Tesla had this exemption. I guess is it in the exemption, or they just say that they shouldn't, that shouldn't apply to them because this is for the 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 uh, greater good of the community or whatever that and they sell the majority of electric vehicles and it might not be feasible if they're paying this high rate it might not be a feasible thing to deliver if all of a sudden the cost of this electricity goes through the roof so anyhow it turns out this this has the potential to turn political the argument makes more sense if Tesla doesn't have a proprietary connector if anyone with any brand of car that has an electric motor and battery can pull up there and charge, then all of a sudden that argument makes more sense as to why it should be exempted. But if Tesla solely benefits because their customers want to buy Teslas because they're able to recharge them for free or for this very cheap fee, then it's, it's helping their business grow exclusively and not necessarily the entire community. And so that's the argument there. Now, Apparently, a way around this is Tesla could also install alongside their proprietary chargers the, the generic universal style chargers like ChargePoint or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then their argument changes. But for the time being, it's going to become increasingly political and it could, it could, the cost could go up for this type, of, whether the cost is assumed by Tesla or if they pass it back on to the owner mm -hmm. is unknown at this moment. But it turns out that that, pri that proprietary charge station may be under attack. Mm -hmm. It may have to open up a little bit. It's sucking a lot of juice. It's a straw. They're putting a straw in the grid. Now, I'm sure Elon Musk disagrees with all this. 
he's probably sitting there going, my straw is nothing. That energy wouldn't be utilized. People are using gasoline. They're using dinosaur juice. I'm trying to give them the other juice. You know, he's they probably got a lot of, it's, it's obviously an argument going on. Starts in New York. Funny enough, those superchargers, I believe, are made in Buffalo. Oh, so okay. in the state where they're providing and employing people, it's kind of interesting how that goes. Anyway, 